Join me in today's creation of a seascape in acrylic. I didn't have too much of a plan with this painting. All I knew is I wanted it not just to be grey but to feel grey. To be quiet but peaceful. And it's so interesting how colours can make such a huge difference to the feeling of painting. The important thing to me is not whether anyone likes my paintings, but it's what I felt creating them. And I love to share my process. I think that's the first step to finding your style. You know, what is it that you feel passionate about making? Well, the first step if you're unsure is to just explore as many avenues as you can. Watercolours, oils, acrylics, drawing. There are so many different ways to create art. And how can you truly find what you're going to love if you haven't tried as many of them as you can? The type of art that you enjoy looking at as well will most likely be the kind of art that you'll enjoy making. So take screenshots or save photos of all the art that you feel drawn to and somehow take snippets of all those pieces together. It's really important not to directly copy anybody else's work though as this is plagiarism. But instead try taking the colour palette from one painting, the technique from another and maybe the subject of another still. And this way you can create something unique to you but including all the things that you love and that inspire you. So this is just one way that you can experiment to find out what your style might be. And ultimately, your style will probably happen slowly and organically. If you feel frustrated that you haven't found it yet, try not to force it. But keep playing with making art and enjoying the process. I think sometimes we can get so caught up in our end goal that we really forget to just experience the journey. And finding a style is definitely going to be a goal that is always moving the more you work towards it. Also, I find the internet can be really overwhelming, especially when you're maybe struggling with something and it can make you feel really worthless sometimes. And it puts all the most amazing things in one place. It can make it look like everybody else is achieving their goals apart from you. But just remember that. The internet includes millions of people all across the world and usually it only shows the best of those people. So if you struggle with feelings of comparing, just go solo, i.e. no social media, and just take basic paints with you or even just a pencil. Head to the closest thing outside, draw it, paint it, just experience it. And this is going to be the best way to find your own technique, style, subject, without that influence of others and the internet. I'd really love to know your thoughts and experiences with this, so please share with us in the comments and have a beautiful, inspiring day.